Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will feature um, a new living room tour. I showed you guys this video in my first tour, but this particular video, I want to showcase how I rearranged the room and how I took some things out of the room that I felt like was kind of cluttering the room since I added mirrors. So um, this video will also feature a fall um, look. I'm just going to only do the first part of um, the living room and... Um, Maybe the foyer I added to the video, and maybe the dining room. We'll see how the video goes, but just come right on in. Let's get started. So if a lot of you guys um, have been following me since the beginning, hey to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. But if you remember the first video, this room is pretty much the same layout. I just tweaked some things, shall I say. So the first thing that we changed in this room was the mirrors. If you all remember, I had a big, huge mirror here, and now I have two mirrors. And what I wanted to do was kind of like make a statement um, as far as the mirrors. Um, I love mirrors. I recently posted a video on my Instagram, and it kind of did pretty well. I got maybe 3,000 views, but I had a lot of great feedback. But for the most part, um, a lot of the feedback was good. But you had five or six people that was kind of negative like, why do you have so many mirrors in your house? Some people even say you, your house looks like trash. So um, that was a little bit of a um, you know downer day for me because you want to always showcase your work, especially you know the fact that you want people to be proud of your work. So I was a little bit down about that, but you know I had a lot of people that was positive saying it looks great, it looks amazing. So. To all my YouTube subscribers, YouTube subscribers that has been here for a while, that has given me so much love, told me how beautiful my home was, I really appreciate you all. You all is what helped me keep going every day to keep doing these videos. So again, let's talk about the changes in this room. So these mirrors um, are two separate mirrors, but they were bought at a closeout store um, near my home and they were $86 a piece. So I'm not sure if the video reflects how huge they are, but they're really huge. But what I noticed is that when I put them in here, so much of the decor I had in here was just kind of overwhelming. So I kind of took some of the decor out. So if you go back to the first video, you can see where like the tables well was a lot fuller than what they are now. So now I just have like maybe some coffee table magazines, restoration hardware, a little piece here, a little piece. And what I did is I shopped my home. So what that means is I went around my home, saw some pieces and kind of rearranged them. And then I took some pieces out and came up with this design. So the sofa is still the same. I just added this little fur, um, faux fur on the side here. But pretty much everything else is still the same as far as the sofa. Changed some things on this table as well. So it's a little bit different here. Um, this got kind of a little bit of a makeover. I kind of changed some things on this table as well. Took some things out so it won't be so cluttered. Because like I said, the mirror just added a lot of depth to the room. And this room is a small room, so I didn't want it to look overcrowded with having, you know, the big, the huge big mirrors here. So yeah, that was pretty much the things that's changed. The things that has changed is really just like the stuff that's on the tables. The furniture stayed the same. And so I also incorporated fall into the look. Um, I didn't want to add any orange pumpkins or brown pumpkins or, you know, that sort of thing. But I still wanted to have a fall look. So I actually picked up this pillow here from, let's see where it's from because I can't remember, Marshalls. And I put it in this little chair also with a blessed throw here um, to kind of add the fall Thanksgiving touch to the room as well. So I thought it flowed very well with the decor. Then here, um, I kind of changed the coffee table as well. I kind of scaled back, took some things off, kind of rearranged the vases on the table, put my coffee table books here. If you can get close here, I just kind of lined those up together um, on the table. Then I added this cute little bling pumpkin from Ross um, here to also add some fall into the room. So yeah, that's pretty much you know, the changes that this room has gone through. I want to know what you guys think. So please comment below. Let me know how you feel about the changes and what you think, you know, and that sort of thing. Also, on the last video, you couldn't see this light that well because of the light was the light was turned on. So I hope you can get a good shot of how really that light is, how, how nice it really is. Um, and again, it matches the lamps that I have in the corner. But um, I know on the last video, you couldn't quite see it because I turned the light on. So I'm not going to turn the light on on this video so you can really get to look at it. Um, while the lights are not on. 
Um, what else we changed in here? Oh, we kind of changed just around. I put all my little pyramids over here. So, you know, I took the black ones out. I can't remember if it was in the video last or not the black ones, but now I just have all of the clear ones here. Let's try to get um, some of this dining room footage to kind of see what I did as far as the dining room. I added some little pumpkins in here as well um, for the fall. I don't know if you can see. Maybe you need to turn on the light so you can see. But I added some pumpkins in here. I changed up some things on the table. If you also look at my dining room video, um, you'll see where it's some changes has been made in here. Um, I changed some things here as well. So um, it was a few, you know, a few changes here. And then here, it, you know, some few changes took place. I kind of scaled back, took a lot of the glasses and all of that stuff off and kind of, you know, found a new home for it. So I tell you guys all the time in my videos, shop your home sometime because sometimes you got things in certain places that look well in other places. So that's exactly what I did without spending money. But I want to swing around to the foyer because I want to show you what I did in there as well. And we got this runner in here. We are doing some renovations to our house today and getting some new furniture delivered, which I'll show you all in a new video coming up. But in the foyer, uh, not too much has changed. I just added a little cute pumpkin here to kind of match, you know, the fall theme going on. And this pumpkin was found at Home Goods, and it matched my things I have here already on the table. So it's little subtle ways I added fall into my home decor. I really did not want to have um, a home exploding with orange pumpkins this year. I did that last year. I want to put up a video and show you all what I did last year with my porch and everything. But this year, I kind of wanted to keep it kind of subtle and light. So... You know that's pretty much the case when it came to that not much changes in this area but you know just um fall stuff that was added i'm also going to shoot another video um featuring my kitchen eating kitchen and also featuring my great room you all have not seen the great room yet but that's a video that will be coming soon today we are having an island installed um in the kitchen and when i do that video i want to talk to you guys about how i save um on that island you you all know i am the bargain shopper bargain lover so i'll talk about that later in a new video that i'm going to do soon about the kitchen but just wanted to come to you all today with the um updated look and i want to swing back down to the living room i'm really really excited to hear you guys feedback on the new living room i know it's not much change as far as the furniture part but just in you know the decor part has changed so i'm just curious to see what you all think let me know if you love the first look better or this look better and i appreciate all y'all support i really do like i just want to talk to the subscribers that have subscribed to me um i'm just grateful for the fact that you all believe in me um so many nice comments from my followers saying keep up the good word you do a great job that means a lot so I'm just grateful for you all. Um, please share my videos with your family and your friends um, so they can stop by my channel so I can inspire them as well and give them ideas. But I just wanted to let you all know I'm grateful, um, you know, of the fact that you all have been, you know, taking your time out of your day or whatever it is to stop by my channel and show me some appreciation and love. So I'm so grateful and I just want you all to know I appreciate you all. Stay with me on this journey. I promise you I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep giving you all the best content that I can try. I'm trying to do better. I'm still trying to learn YouTube. So just work with me. And again, I appreciate you all. But until the next video, stay inspired, be blessed, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.